our kidneys play a super crucial role as a toxin filter and are essential for survival. Since healthy kidneys filter about half a cup of blood every minute, without proper kidney function, waste products and toxins can build up in our bodies, 10. Now, this is something you may not know, kidney damage is mostly irreversible, especially chronic ones. Let me repeat that, you can't fix kidney damage in most cases. What's even more concerning is that if left untreated, this damage can progress to kidney failure. That means you might need dialysis or even a kidney transplant to stay alive, 11. Shockingly, about one in three people with seriously weakened kidney function, yet not on dialysis, are unaware that they have kidney disease due to vague symptoms, 12. So, you'd better take preventive steps before it's too late. Did you know that some foods we eat daily can silently harm our kidneys? In this video, we will mention six common foods that could slowly damage our kidneys over time, trust me, some of them will shock you. We will also share tips for eating these foods carefully to protect our kidneys. Before we dive in, kindly note that all information you'll find in this video is fact-checked, unbiased, and reviewed by qualified professionals. Alright, it's time to swing back to the foods that can destroy your kidneys. 6. Spinach Spinach has long been marketed as a super healthy food, but the truth is that it's high in oxalate, a known kidney killer. 100 grams of spinach can contain up to 1,260 milligrams of oxalate, which is higher than what you'd get from many other leafy greens. If your body takes too much oxalate in a short period of time, even one meal, you could die from this compound. There has been an instance where someone ate sorrel soup, which is packed with oxalate, and a few hours later, their kidneys shut down, and they passed away, 1. Even with a moderate daily intake, you can accumulate oxalates in your body, causing kidney stones, bladder stones, kidney nephropathy, joint issues, and affecting every organ, including the brain. They are also linked to conditions like interstitial cystitis, IC, also known as painful bladder syndrome. Cassava root, chard, and rhubarb are also notable for their high oxalate content, so it's best to avoid them, 2, 3. Another concern with spinach is that it is rich in potassium. Normally, healthy kidneys balance potassium levels in the blood. But for people with chronic kidney disease, CKD, it's important to control potassium intake. The National Kidney Foundation suggests limiting it to 2,000 mg daily for CKD patients, 13. However, just 100 grams of uncooked spinach can have as much as 558 mg of potassium, 14. Be mindful that potassium or oxalate content remains unchanged when boiling spinach, 15, 16. So, if you have kidney disease, eating spinach in moderation is wise. You can enjoy spinach along with other veggies like kale, carrots, zucchini, lettuce, cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower, which are lower in oxalate and potassium, 16, 17. 5. Potatoes and Sweet Potatoes Sweet potatoes are rich in essential vitamins, minerals, and amino acids, making them a superfood. But watch out for their high potassium content, which is bad for people with kidney disease. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, a regular baked potato has around 610 mg of potassium, while a sweet potato of about 5 feet in length can have 438 mg, 20, 21. However, unlike spinach, soaking potatoes in water before cooking can help reduce their potassium levels. So, it's wise to be moderate and soak your potatoes and sweet potatoes before cooking for the sake of your kidneys. Moreover, popular snacks from potatoes, such as french fries or chips, are high in sodium or salt, putting more strain on your kidneys. Snacking on them can easily push you over your daily sodium limit. Plus, potato chips usually offer little or no nutritional value as they are highly processed, so avoiding them all is best. Are you enjoying our video so far? If so, please give us some hints by dropping a like and we'll make more content like this. 4. Rice Rice is a staple food that serves as the dependable sidekick to countless meals worldwide, found on dinner tables from Asia to Africa to the Americas. However, 
this seemingly innocent plate of rice might carry a toxic surprise that many people are unaware of. Simply put, rice is high in arsenic, a heavy metal that can directly damage your kidneys over time. 4. Arsenic is a naturally occurring element that can enter the rice through water or soil contamination, particularly in regions where the rice paddies are irrigated with groundwater containing high levels of arsenic. This exposure can accumulate in the rice grains, making it a health concern for those who consume rice regularly. The form of arsenic found in rice is particularly dangerous because it is often present as inorganic arsenic, which is considered the more harmful type. In raw rice, inorganic arsenic levels can range from about 0.1 to 0.4 mg per kilogram, significantly higher than those found in other grains like wheat and barley, where inorganic arsenic is often undetectable and the total arsenic content is only around 0.03 to 0.08 mg per kilogram. 6. This makes rice a unique carrier of this toxin among common cereals. Prolonged exposure to inorganic arsenic from rice can lead to a range of serious health issues, including acute renal failure and chronic renal insufficiency. 5. Over time, even low-level exposure to arsenic has been associated with an increased risk of developing various chronic diseases, such as heart disease, diabetes, and even cancer. Rice also tends to absorb more cadmium and other heavy metals than other crops, which further compounds its potential health risks. 4. Cadmium, like arsenic, is a toxic metal that can cause kidney damage, skeletal damage, and reproductive toxicity when ingested at higher concentrations. Given these risks, does this mean that you should completely avoid eating rice? Not necessarily. You can still enjoy rice as part of a balanced diet, but it's important to be mindful of how often you consume it. Moderation is key especially when it comes to vulnerable groups such as infants and children. Young children, in particular, are more susceptible to the harmful effects of arsenic because their smaller bodies and developing organs can absorb and retain higher concentrations of toxins. They can get up to three times more arsenic from rice than adults on a per-body weight basis, making even low levels of exposure potentially detrimental to their brain development, intelligence, and memory. 18. 3. Butter. Butter, a beloved dairy product made from the fat and protein components of milk or cream, is a staple in many kitchens around the world. This creamy delight adds flavor and richness to a variety of dishes, from spreading on toast to being used in baking and cooking. However, butter's composition is primarily made up of saturated fats and cholesterol. These compounds, while contributing to butter's creamy texture and taste, are also associated with several health concerns. High intake of saturated fats and cholesterol has been linked to elevated blood pressure and the formation of arterial plaque, both of which can strain the blood vessels in your kidneys. Over time, this strain can impair kidney function, especially in individuals with existing health conditions such as hypertension or diabetes. The excessive consumption of saturated fats can lead to atherosclerosis, where arteries become clogged and hardened, further contributing to cardiovascular diseases and complications involving the kidneys. But that's not all, if the risks associated with regular butter weren't enough, consider salted butter, which brings its own set of challenges. A mere 100 grams of salted butter contains approximately 643 milligrams of sodium, 22. For those keeping track, that's quite a substantial amount of salt especially considering that the American Heart Association recommends no more than 2,300 mg of sodium per day, with an ideal limit of 1,500 mg for most adults. Consuming salted butter regularly can easily push someone over their daily sodium limit, particularly if combined with other high-sodium foods in their diet. A high-sodium intake is known to raise blood pressure, a condition that, when chronic, can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys and impair their ability to filter waste from the blood effectively. Over time, this can lead to conditions such as chronic kidney disease, CKD, a serious and often progressive condition that can ultimately require dialysis or a kidney transplant. Moreover, the butter you find on grocery store shelves is often heavily processed to improve its flavor and extend its shelf life. 
This processing can involve the addition of preservatives and other chemicals, which not only alter the natural taste of butter but also reduce its nutritional value. During processing, vital nutrients like calcium can be diminished or even removed, resulting in a product that offers minimal nutritional benefits compared to its more natural counterparts. 2. Soda Soda is one of the most popular beverages around the globe, often consumed daily by millions of people. However, it poses significant health risks, especially concerning kidney health. Consuming sugar in liquid form, like in soda, is far more harmful than consuming it in solid form. This is because liquid sugar is absorbed into the bloodstream much more quickly, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Soda is essentially just sugar in liquid form, with a standard can containing as much as 39 grams of sugar, equivalent to nearly 10 teaspoons. When blood sugar levels are consistently high, as they can be with frequent soda consumption, the kidneys must work overtime to filter this excess sugar. Normally, healthy kidneys manage this excess without much issue, but for individuals with diabetes or pre-diabetic conditions, excessive sugar intake can be particularly harmful. In these cases, the high sugar content forces the kidneys to spill sugar into the urine, which can progressively damage the delicate filters within the kidneys, known as nephrons, 7. Over time, this can lead to a decline in kidney function or even chronic kidney disease, CKD. Interestingly, many people switch to diet soda to reduce their sugar intake, believing it to be a healthier alternative. However, this perception is misleading. While diet sodas may contain little to no sugar, they often have artificial sweeteners and additives, which carry their own health risks. Research has shown that drinking diet soda daily is associated with a 67% increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, 9. This is likely due to the way artificial sweeteners can affect insulin sensitivity and overall metabolism. Additionally, diet sodas still contain various chemicals that can be harmful to the kidneys. For instance, many sodas, both regular and diet, are high in phosphorus additives, which are used to enhance flavor and extend shelf life. These phosphorus additives are more readily absorbed by the body compared to natural sources of phosphorus, leading to elevated levels that can stress the kidneys. An excess of phosphorus in the body can lead to calcification of blood vessels and other tissues, further straining kidney function. The National Kidney Foundation recommends that individuals, particularly those with any kidney concerns, limit their phosphorus intake to about 700 mg per day to maintain healthy kidney function. 6. Given that a single serving of soda can contain a significant portion of this limit, regular consumption can easily lead to excessive phosphorus intake. Furthermore, sodas are also highly acidic, which can lead to an imbalance in the body's pH levels, placing additional strain on the kidneys as they work to maintain this delicate balance. 1. Dried Fruits Dried fruits, like raisins, apricots, prunes, and dates, are often praised for their convenience and concentrated nutrients. They offer a quick and tasty snack option that seems like a healthy alternative to sugary treats. At first glance, dried fruits appear to be nutrient-dense because the dehydration process removes water, leaving behind concentrated vitamins, minerals, and fiber. However, this same process also concentrates sugars and calories, making dried fruits a potentially risky choice for those concerned about kidney health. One major concern is their high potassium content. Potassium is an essential mineral that helps regulate heart and muscle function, but too much potassium can be dangerous for individuals with compromised kidney function. The kidneys are responsible for filtering out excess potassium from the blood, and when they are not functioning properly, Potassium levels can build up, leading to hyperkalemia, a condition that can cause heart arrhythmias and other serious health issues. For instance, according to the USDA, one cup of pitted uncooked prunes contains about 1,270 mg of potassium, which is enough to meet half of the daily recommended intake for healthy adults, 17. For those with kidney disease or at risk of developing it, Consuming dried fruits could lead to dangerously high potassium levels. Furthermore, many commercially available dried fruits are treated with additives, preservatives, 
and added sugars or salt to enhance flavor and prolong shelf life. These additives can be harmful in their own right. Added sugars increase the caloric content and can lead to blood sugar spikes, contributing to insulin resistance and diabetes, conditions that are already risk factors for kidney damage. Salt, on the other hand, can exacerbate hypertension, another leading cause of kidney disease. Consuming foods high in sodium forces the kidneys to work harder to excrete the excess salt, potentially causing further strain and damage over time. In addition to the nutritional concerns, dried fruits can also pose a risk simply due to their size and ease of consumption. Because they are small, lightweight, and convenient to eat on the go, it's easy to overconsume them without realizing it. A handful of dried fruits can quickly add up to a significant amount of sugar and calories, far more than one might consume when eating fresh fruits. Moreover, the dehydration process that creates dried fruits removes much of the water content, which means they lack the hydrating qualities of fresh fruits. This absence of water can lead to a lack of satiety, making you feel less full than you would after eating the same amount of fresh fruit, potentially leading to overeating. And there you have it, folks, our list of six common foods that can destroy your kidneys. They are spinach, potatoes, rice, butter, soda, and dried fruits. More foods that aren't good for your kidneys include canned or frozen items, GMOs, tomato sauce, and concentrated juice.